All right, good morning, everybody. It's your boy Akeem, continuing with more scout reports on players headed towards the 2017 NFL Draft. Moving forward with more wide receivers, I'm here to talk about D.D. Westbrook heading from um, Oklahoma. Now, this kid, it was the Belitnikoff Award winner given to the nation's top wide receiver this past season with over 1,500 yards receiving and 17 scores. Now, he's hailing from Cameron, Texas, and he did get some looks from Kyle colleges coming out of high school but he and his senior season he was actually dealing with a career threatening injury and also academic issues in which he actually was not qualified to join a school in um in uh, FBS division so he actually decided to go to Junco Junior College and Blaine College sat out another season due to injuries as well as his academics but with the advice of his coaches and family finally got things together and he was a junior Junior College All-American at wide receiver and earned a scholarship to play for the Oklahoma Sooners. Now in 2015, he was um, he did have 46 receptions with 743 yards receiving and was an understudy for another great OU receiver in Sterling Shepard, who is now with the New York Giants. And like I said, he just emerged this past season as the number one guy, replacing Sterling Shepard as um Baker Mayfield's top target. Now let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths, he does have above average straight speed. I do like that about him. And he has the ability to make a big play vertically, which is very key in the National Football League. Wide receivers definitely are could be great deep ball threats in the NFL. Now, sudden, he does have the sudden start and stop moves, movements to catch um, defenders off balance, cut and accelerate of, uh, away from them, does a good job as far as breaking away. And he rarely misjudges his deep balls, which is a great thing. He definitely has good timing and he has quick feet and body shape to beat press coverage which is our great things about him now he did average 16.2 yards per punt return and on um, 27.1 yards per kickoff return so that shows that he could be a good threat and as a special teams player as well he does have a skinny slim, slim frame at six foot 176 pounds so that is one of his weaknesses but he can be used as return specialist and you know those smaller skinnier guys are used more as return specialists and um, he's been dealing with injuries during his career going dating back from high school which is a concern but I think he will be just fine now other things he does need to work on his catch radius is not really what you're looking for it's, it's still a bit in question um, with few uh, examples to tape uh, what you saw what uh, happened sometimes on tape I think his radius needs to be just a little bit more but he's more of a deep ball threat reminds me of a lot of Deshaun Jackson now I think overall for this year's draft if I see him as a solid second round pick, we will see anything can happen, but he is coming off of a great season. I still see him as a late round pick in the second round. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes. I have more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be